Okay, so uh, let's consider this equation, x plus 2, and uh, we're going to go ahead and graph that. Let's think about, uh, and we're going to graph it using x and y intercepts, uh, carrying on with the same idea. Um, I'm used to doing this, right, uh, and figuring out the values that map to these two zeros and then plotting those points. Because this is a curve, more than likely, if we were going to have a more uh, accurate sketch, uh, we would have to do, we would have to plot more than two points. But uh, I'm going to try to keep the video short and just address those two and talk about those two points. Um, in fact, those two points will become uh, important to us as we do some of the problems in this program early on in this first section. So another way to view it is instead of with the coordinate pairs is that I'm going to put a zero in for x and figure out the y or this expression, that's an x, um, and uh, a zero in for the expression or a zero in for y and figure out what x is equal to. So we should uh, come up with, that just looks ugly, uh, that's better. Um, we should come up with, if I put a zero in for x, I'm going to get y equals the square root of zero plus two, which is equal to that, and you can just put in the square root of two. Um, hopefully you know approximately what the square root of 2 is. If you're not sure, what's the square root of 0? Zero? 0. What's the square root of 4? It's 2. What's the square root of 3? Well, it's somewhere in between. Oh, I'm sorry. Square root of 1 uh, is equal to 1. Square root of 3 is somewhere in between there. And, of course, then you still have the square root of 2 in there. I didn't plan this very well. And so the square root of 2 is equal to what, and the square root of 3 is equal to what? Well, this is about 1.41, blah, 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 and this is about 1.73, blah, 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 blah. Okay? So you should have some idea that it's at least between 1 and 2. Uh, all right? So um, this value is approximately 1.41. Stick it in your calculator to find out. Now, if we go after this 0, uh, let's look at that. If I put a 0 in for y... I get the square root of x plus 2 is equal to 0. If I take the square of both sides, I will rid myself of the square root symbol, and I'll still have 0 equals x plus 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, and I figure out that x is equal to negative 2 when y is equal to 0. So I have those two points. Now, I think of these two points as anchor points. I don't know if that's anywhere else, but for the square root function, I think of them as anchor points. Um, they're going to anchor my function, and whatever you sketch after that is, because we're just sketching, um, is less important. So let's take a look at those two points. What were they again? Negative 2 and square root of 2. And let's do this. Let's go with a little bit of different scale. Let's say that this is 1, and that's 2, and that's 3, and that's 4. Do I have enough space over here? I kind of goofed that up. Uh, nice. Nice. Let's try that again. Okay. And so this is going to be negative 1, and that's going to be negative 2. Now remember the two points that we were looking at. Negative 2, 0. Uh, that was the green guy. Negative 2, 0. And that's going to be right here. And so we find that the x-intercept is one of our anchor points because it crosses the x-axis right there, and then 0 square root of 2. The other anchor point is going to be right around here. I think I did that in blue. 0 for x and the square root of 2 for y. So about 1.4, stop it, 1.41, which is going to be somewhere around here. Okay. And so hopefully we have an idea that the square root function looks sort of like this. Okay, it's a little flat here, sorry. Um, and you could refine this by, again, putting in more than one point. But I just wanted to get this idea across about these two anchor points. And those anchor points will give you the location and the relative size, how fast this is going, whether it's going up at this rate or whether it's something like this whether it's really flat. Um, these two anchor points will give you those two ideas. This will give you a location, and this will tell you how quickly the function is increasing. Okay? That's it.